It's Zen Faded Week on the Game Room from the fantastic independent game maker We Have Issues Publishing. Like, subscribe, and comment all week for your chance to win the choice of a two-player starter box or the new Don't Let the Zed Bugs Bite starter box. You'll also get your choice of two Mercs models when the Kickstarter ships. The winner will be chosen from the YouTube comments on this week's videos, so get those comments in for your chance to win. It's Zen Faded Week on the Game Room. Welcome to the game. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are again in Zinvaded Week. I hope you're enjoying the week so far. Um, I'm going to do something a little different with these. Uh, this probably two-part video. Um, if you're new to Zinvaded, um, especially some of the folks that have come by for the demos at the local store and picked up the starter boxes, uh, you may not have put your models together. Um, so well, I'm going to start with the whole process of, hey, here's how we put uh, one of these resin models together, and then we'll go through painting it to look like the third member of the yellow team, which I'm making, which is the fourth uh, combat team. Uh, that I am uh, doing. As you uh, told you before, I have a, a green, a white, I did a red, which you probably already saw those videos. This one, uh, I'm going to finish off the yellow, and I'll show you what they look like, and then we'll go ahead and get this guy put together, and then we'll get him painted. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so here's what our end product's going to look something similar to. Um, like I said, these guys are, this is going to be my yellow combat team. And this is the scout, the sniper. And he is the, um, or she actually, is the third member of the group. Uh, remember, it doesn't, oops, sorry, it doesn't matter which scout you use, pick whichever one you want. Um, it's, they're all kind of mix and match. So, um, your model comes in a bag like this. It also comes with a base. <laughs> Uh, these bases have uh, an indention where that's where these round pieces will go. Those will fit in there. The hole is where the peg on his foot will go, and that's that. The other thing you're going to need is a pair of clippers, preferably ones with a flat edge. This allows you to get right up close to the model and clip it without damaging the model itself. And then for cleanup, you're going to need a hobby knife. Also going to need super glue. Um, I use Gorilla Glue. Any super glue, plastic glue will not work on these. These are resin. Uh, so a plastic glue won't work. Um, I use, like I said, I use Gorilla Glue. It's about five bucks a bottle. Uh, it's probably one of the better super glues that I've used. Uh, but all you really need is a super glue. So start by First, taking the model out of the package. <clears throat> now, you're going to see some flash, some extra mold lines, things like that, which you're going to want to clean off. That's where your hobby knife comes in. Um, also, if you have one, uh, a brush like this is also good uh, for knocking some of that off it's a little the little thinner uh, finer pieces it can easily be knocked off with a brush you don't have to worry about the blades so much um, these blades you can get at I want to say Dollar General I've seen them for just a few bucks uh, so don't go spend thirty dollars on a hobby knife. Um, if, if you're really getting into the hobby you don't know how, you don't need to watch how to put this together this is for new folks, if you're new to the resin, if you're new to Zinvaded, if you're new to uh, the hobby in general, how to put these models together, here you go. Uh, that's what we're trying, that's what we're going for. Um, so that'll also help. Um, but one of the first things you want to do with this guy right out of the bat is go wash this. Now, uh, a resin mold has um, a release agent in it uh, to allow the mold to pop out. Uh, of it. So uh, these resin molds are basically like clamshells that they only open up so far. They don't actually cut the whole thing apart. 
Um, I don't know if he did for these. The ones I've seen were it'll be housed inside the mold like so. The mold cuts open and they can pull the model out. They close it back up. There's holes in it, uh, which is where this comes in. They fill it full of resin and that's how these are created. Um, there's a great video, uh, some other videos out there uh, that show you how that's done. But there is a release agent on this, on these that helps them pop out of the mold so that the resin doesn't stick to the mold itself. So you need to wash that off. Um, any dishwashing detergent, uh, Dawn, palm olive, whatever, and uh, warm water. Uh, if you've got a, a, not your hobby brush, but a toothbrush or something else, you can give it a good scrub. Uh, wash it really good in the warm water. Make sure you rinse it completely and dry it completely. And uh, so I'm going to go do that and uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, all right. So he's been washed. Didn't take very long. Um, and dried just with a paper towel. Just give it dry. It would probably most likely be completely dry by the time you get it put together. So you probably don't have to worry about any uh, little spots or anything like that where there's still water. Because if it's still wet and you try to prime it, that's going to be ugly. So, Okay. Looks pretty dry. Um, so he is, or she is, one, two, three, uh, four total pieces, including the little round base here. Um, if your little round base, like the one that came on this one, uh, is a separate piece, it's not connected to anything, and it's warped, uh, so it doesn't actually lay flat. Um, you can fix that in any resin piece by, if it's bent, like the, the guns are sometimes they're bent, by the packaging or something like that. Um, hot water, just drop it in there for a second. Uh, don't stick your fingers in there, you don't want to burn yourself. Um, and it'll soften the resin. Take it out, uh, it sh you know, flatten it, rebend it, and then immediately stick it under cold water. Uh, there's other videos out there that'll kind of show you how to do that as well. Um, but a little hot water treatment will generally do the trick. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and clip all these pieces off. This is where your flat edge comes in. So like right here under her arm, I don't want to do this. You don't want to do it this way. Because then you're going to knock off and have a big chunk of that plastic. You don't want that. If you do it this way, you get right up against the model itself. The flat edge is going to keep me from, from going into the model. And I just want to gently squeeze and take that right off. Now, another thing is if, if it's kind of too big for, for that to get in there, just use your happy knife always cut away from you. Okay. What I have down here is what they call a self-healing uh, cutting mat, which has been great. That way you can do you that, you're not going to hurt it. kind of heals itself, so to say. Um, now we're just going to keep clipping these parts off. Now you don't want to clip off that little knob right there. See that? See that? I don't want to clip this off because that will actually fit into these holes, okay? And help uh, you know, seal the bond or make it easier for it to hold together rather than just being flat. But I do want to clip off this flash piece that's holding it. There. there. Okay. The last piece is base, and I'll go flat against it. Right here. All right. This trash. Or if you're really into hobby, you can use this for you know, something else bases or whatever else, but for our intents and purposes, this trash. Now, this is the hard part. You're going to want to clean some of this up. Now, they always tell you to cut away from yourself. If you've ever tried to clean anything by cutting this direction away from you, 
it's not easy. They tell you to cut away from yourself so you don't slice your thumbs up. Okay, so don't do what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, um, cut away from yourself so you don't uh, you know, slice your fingers over. And be very careful. Uh, it, it is a knife. It is sharp. It is dangerous. As any knife is. But used with care, it's a great tool. Um, you may also see some flashing down the side of each piece. Just gently use a knife to scrape that. You can brush the brush any of it off. See that right here. And see what you see that here. Just going to gently Okay, so you want to do this with all the pieces. If there's any flashing or anything that you don't want there, yeah. just be gentle. Don't cut your model up. Just want to be gentle with it. I'm going to go ahead and finish these up so you don't sit here and watch it, and we'll be right back. Okay, so with all of our parts cleaned, you can kind of get start to see how this guy's going to go together. His feet will go into like that. Her, I keep saying he, her, uh, ways to fit in the body part this way. And you can play around with it a little bit, uh, but keep in mind she's carrying this big gun, uh, which will sit in front of her, which isn't going to let her twist too, too much. So we're just going to kind of go with the standard pose that she's just going to be standing here like so. And the gun will put in there. Just like something like that. Okay. Now, the other thing that you might need is green stuff. This is a two part um, putty. Uh, it's called green stuff, which is yellow and blue. When you mix them together, it turns green. Now, why do you need this? You, you may not. Um, Depending on how uh, how you fit it together, how your how your model's fitting together, um, sometimes I just use it uh, to help hold pieces in place while the super glue dries. Um, otherwise, you can sit here like this. Now, Gorilla Glue will set pretty darn quick, you know, 15, 20 seconds uh, most of the time, depending on temperature, blah blah blah. Um, if you do have some green stuff or you pick some up. Um, it's very easy to use. Just cut off equal pieces of both the yellow and the blue, like so. And you're just going to knead this together, mix it together, like so. And for a model this size, it's not going to take a whole lot. I've had this for a very long time. As you can see, it's starting to turn green. Uh, I just kind of twist it together. Roll it around on your self healing mat to help mix it together. But once it's green, Way through. It's now ready to use. Now this will actually set and and, and get hard. It won't stay like this. So uh, whatever you don't use, if you leave it out you know, after actually not too long, it's going to uh, start to get very tough, and uh, then it will it will get hard. It'll still bend a little bit, but it's going to be totally useless for what we're trying to do. Um, so I just put a little piece of it right in there, right where she's going to sit, so that way it'll sort of smoosh together. And now, super glue. Doesn't take a lot. Smoosh that in there. 
haven't lured out the base yet. But I will start to get an idea of okay. I have a little bit of time to work with her if I need to change her pose or anything. have this little peg which will fit into the top pin. Don't want to do it too much. everything in place just a moment. Like I said, the green stuff and the super glue, you have a little bit of time to play with it once you get the three pieces together. Her hands uh, holding the gun, not so much. It's really her waist and how Of minutes. There we go. Uh, let that sit and we'll come back to her in just a moment. Okay, with her dry, and the only thing we have left to do is glue this portion of the base down. Now, this is where I flipped it and cleaned it up with the uh, knife to make sure it's laid flat. Um, just put a little super glue inside the base and just literally just drop that in there. Press it down, make sure it sticks. <clears throat> okay, next step after this, and I'm not going to glue her into this yet because I do the bases in black, and I still need to let that dry. I do my bases in black, as you can see these other ones. Um, but she's going to be, so I'm going to use a black primer on the base, and her base color is going to be demonic yellow from Army Painter. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about these in the next video, but for now, she's built, um, and uh, that's how you put these Zenvaded models together. Uh, okay, so uh, again, they can be a little fiddly if you're not used to this before. Um, it might be a little easier to uh, glue her her hands and her arms together before you put her in the, her legs. Uh, whatever works for you. Kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, if you don't have the green stuff to help hold it in place, that's fine. Uh, just the super glue will do it for you. Um, just make sure you have a good quality super glue. Don't get the cheap stuff. This stuff doesn't hold to the dollar store. Crap. It, it's, I don't know. I've never had any luck with it. It's, it's garbage. Um, but like I said, I use Gorilla Glue um, and it works really well for me. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, primer and paint her, and uh, that'll be in the next video. So anyway, I hope this helps you. You can put all of your models together this way. Um, they all follow the same uh, pattern. Just make sure you match them up. Look at the pictures. 
um, look at the videos, go to the website. You can kind of see the pictures to get an idea of how you want to position them. And uh, anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching as always, and have a great evening. Good night.